They are powerless against us if every single Anglo-Saxon Christian one of us stands together. The rest of America don't see it that way, Mr. Mayor. The rest of America don't mean a damn thing. We do not accept Jews because they reject Christ. We do not accept Papists because they bow to a Roman dictator. We do not accept Turks, Orientals, nor Negroes. You don't want Muslims to have freedom to worship in this country. You don't want Muslims to be able to build new, new mosques here. You don't want more Muslims coming to the United States, correct? That is not correct, and it depends on who you're asking. On, on television, you say one thing. On your website and in your preachings, you say something else. You say there should be no Muslims allowed to immigrate to the United States, and you say there are no new mosques should be allowed to be built in the United States. Do you deny saying that on your website and your preaching? No, I do not deny that. That is, you do appear to be remarkably intolerant on any ideas other than your own regarding religion. Uh, we are... As the Bible teaches, as Jesus teaches, uh, we are intolerant. Yes. So if, big, if being a bigot is be, so if being a bigot is being intolerant of anyone else's ideas on religion other than your own, you would you would say yes, you're a bigot. Yes. As I said, as I said, it, uh, yes. Yes. As I said, as I said, it, uh, yes. To those who would exercise derision, you see, bigotry, open rejection of our fellow Americans for their religious faith, I say, shame on you. Well. here to protect Anglo-Saxon democracy in the American way. Well, what, is, what is our actual message? Uh, what are we trying to get across? How, how important is that to us right now? That, that, that is very, very important that, that America wakes up. It's very important that our president wakes up. Uh, the Quran, in our opinion, is an evil book. Have you read the Quran, Pastor? I have read only, only parts of the Quran. Uh, Have you read the Bible? Yes, I've read the Bible. Okay.
Have you read the Bible? Yes, I've read the Bible. Okay. Once in a while, I think you see that in the Bible, there, there are incidents where, where enough is enough and you stand up. Uh, Jesus went into the temple and he threw all of the money changers out. He, he did not ask them to leave. Uh, he was not peaceful. He was at that time uh, very, very upset. Uh, even when his very close friend and disciple Peter, uh, even when he tried to stop uh, Jesus from fulfilling his will, uh, from fulfilling uh, the Father's will, uh, Jesus called him the devil. Uh, Jesus, called, Jesus called the religious leaders of that time serpents and, and, and snakes. Have you read the Bible? Yes, I've read the Bible. Okay. the Bible teaches, as Jesus teaches, uh, we are intolerant, yes. So Have you read the Quran? I said no, I have read parts of the Quran.
You see, in all this legal maneuvering, something has gotten lost. And that something is the truth. What is it in us that seeks the truth? Is it our minds? Or is it our hearts? That we are all equal in the eyes of the law. That's not the truth. Because the eyes of the law are human eyes. Yours and mine, and until we can see each other as equals, justice is never going to be even-handed. It will remain nothing more than a reflection of our own prejudices. So until that day, we have a duty under God to seek the truth. Not with our eyes, and not with our minds, where fear and hate turn commonality into prejudice, but with our hearts. Well, we don't know better.